All right, so pretty much got both bolts out, both hoses disconnected. Still got one more down there, but I want to drain the cooling first because that's actually the main one. When I take that one out, it'll just fucking come out. So it's actually really easy. I mean, so better. All right, pretty much got all the cooling out already. It's right in there. Last thing to do is just take this out. There's a connector at the bottom. Take the old one out, put a new one in. That's it. Real quick though, these things have like a little special connector piece, the silver piece. Pretty much just come below, lift it a little bit until it locks in place. Just like that, I don't know if you guys heard the click. Just like that. Now it's pretty much free. After you take it out, you push it back down so you don't lose that clip. So, damn. Yo, that bottom hose is a bitch. Shit. All right, I finally got it out. That shit just popped out, got cooling everywhere. It's also cooling this fucking radiator hose. There's the old one. That's pretty much it. I'm, oh, I should have grabbed a new one, had it next to me so I can just plug the bottom piece in. Fuck. What I was talking about. This little rubber grommet. Take that shit off. And you put it on the new one. All right, now I'm not too sure exactly where it cracked from the bottom. There was dried up coolant, like everywhere. I kind of wiped it off. But yeah, it was coming from the bottom, so I'm not too sure. It might, it might have cracked behind this heat shield because this heat shield does get really hot, and this is like, like hardened plastic. So, yeah. But got the rubber grommet on. Got this on. Just got to put on the clip. From here, you're pretty much done. You got to put two bolts, two hoses, and that's it. I right, got everything back in. Boom boom the connector is plugged in can't even see it i put the clip back in the lower hose about to top off with g13 coolant um g13 and g12 are backwards compatible so it doesn't really matter but i prefer g13 because that's what this calls for um made in germany they don't sell this shit in store maybe O'Reilly's has it but it's very rare they're always sold out of it so about to top off and pretty much done right, last step Pretty much run the car until it gets the operating temperature. You're trying to get all the air out of the system. And the main reason why is you want to see if your coolant level drops due to the air in the system. So that's why that shit was actually halfway in the job a little bit.